Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first time that you are here. If this is the first time that you are here, today's video is the finale of my 13 by Halloween project pan. So if you want to watch it from the start, I will link the playlist up in the eye, you can go watch it from the intro through. If you have seen all of those videos or if you just want to jump right in at the end, let's get on into it. <laughs> First of all, my Gucci Guilty Body Lotion. It's empty, so really, really pleased with that. That's been in since the start. Brought it down a little bit each month and have finally emptied it off. So something for my empties, which I'm very excited about. And this wasn't officially in the project, but by extension of having been using the Guilty Body Lotion, I've also finished up the Guilty Eau de Toilet that I had in my collection. Used the two of them together two empties for my empties. Another empty, my Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I did enjoy using this up. The only thing I would say about this is that it's a very strong smell and the smell lingers. So I would use this on my legs before bed and you know, I could sometimes still smell it the next morning when I was getting up. So uh, you have to like the smell of this one if you're going to use it up. Luckily I do. I don't know if it's really a perfume that I would want to actually smell like. Um, so it is something I'd probably use at night or it's like probably the sort of ideal scent if you go on beach holidays. As long as you like the smell, I really like this product but it's not one of those body lotions that you put on and the smell goes really quickly afterwards so you do have to like the smell of this one. Another MDA is my Mini Kiehl's Cilantro Pollution Defendant Mask. So finished that one up, really, really happy. I think I've got another few of these minis and I have the full size of this product, but really, really pleased to have knocked a mini out. Wouldn't have finished it if it hadn't been in this project. So another one towards the total. <laughs> Something I haven't quite finished, but thanks to the progress made in this project, I am sure I will finish before the end of the year, is my Fresh Rose Oil and Serum. So that is where that one has marked down to. So it was right up at the start here when we began. It's finishing here and I'm sure through November and December I'll be able to knock the rest of this out. So really, really glad that I put this in the project because it definitely will be in this year's empties, even though I didn't quite finish it within the project itself. Another one that I haven't quite finished and would have really liked to is my Kiehl's hand cream. So when this entered the project it was 62 grams, update number one it was 49 grams, update number two 39 grams, last update we got it down to 31 grams and this update I've got it down to, or this finale I've got it down to 22 grams. I don't love this and I'd really like to have it out. I do have a hand cream in my 12 pans of Christmas project pan. Do make sure you've hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. My 12 pans of Christmas videos will be going live in December. Next Sunday will be the update on my main project pan for 2022 and in December we'll have another update for that and then the finale at the end of the month. So lots more project pan content coming your way. Because I've got that other hand cream in my 12 pans of Christmas, what I'll do I think is take that hand cream into work and just try and finish this one at home. I have to really, really sort of smush the bottle down to squeeze it out now so I am I think down to the very dregs of it and I will probably be cutting it open at some point like this week so I do think I'll actually finish this you know this should be in my November empties without too much trouble. <laughs> Thank you. 
Another thing that I have finished thanks to this project is my Jo Malone Whiskey and Cedarwood perfume that is completely done. We started up here, brought it down to here and now it is empty so really really pleased to have knocked another perfume out. I definitely felt at the start of this year that my perfume uh, inventory was a little bit too big, a little bit out of control especially given that perfume can turn over time and it can lose the smell and whatever so I really wanted to try and use a few up this year and thanks to this project I've used three. So the one that was originally in this project was another Jo Malone one. We've used up this one and the Gucci Guilty has also finished through this one so this has been a very pleasing project for using up perfume. <laughs> I have actually just shaken this up and sprayed my face with it before filming so uh, it looked like the marks are a little bit off but it's just that it's um, all frothy and hasn't settled yet. You'll see better in the cutaways. Uh, but this is my L'Oreal Infallible setting spray. So I actually brought this one down quite a good bit um, this month and I think that was because I was at my friend's wedding on Monday which was Halloween so I actually filmed the cutaways for this on Wednesday the 2nd of November. So. The cutaways are actually two days after Halloween, but I was in Peebles on actual Halloween at a wedding, so uh, I didn't really think that through when I decided to start this project, but I think actually a lot of this usage came on Halloween itself um, because I was using it and uh, I was helping with my friend's makeup, she was a bride, so I had it on her, passed it around some of the other bridesmaids, um, and usually like when I use this myself I'm just like you know maybe one or two sprays but on the day of the wedding it was definitely like you know a full circle and across and you know I was locking it all in place so I think that's probably why I got quite a big jump between the last update and the finale but really really pleased with this. I really like this, it doesn't break me out, it keeps my makeup in place so I'm not desperate to try and finish it. I did get another setting spray in a goodie bag so it's not something I use very often, um, you know, it's not part of my daily routine, I would only really use it the weekend or at an event or whatever, um, but I don't really want to start having more than one, so I would quite like to actually finish this up. I don't think I'll do that this year, looking at the fact that this entered that project here, um, and we took it down to here in four months, so I don't think I'll be finishing it this year, but... Yeah, I'm really glad that I made a bit of a concerted effort with it in the last couple of months and I'm hoping that I'll finish this kind of early next year, ideally, um, so that I'm just down to having one left. <laughs> to my Dior lip maximizers. I already finished one in the project and I'm very glad to say I finished a second one by the time of the finale so this one is empty. Very very pleased with that. And then the third one which was the bonus one that I put in I think in update number two or number three. Um, I've not quite finished but there's so little left I definitely will finish it this year. Um, so yeah. This one will be in my next empties video and this will hopefully still be in my empties maybe in November or December at a push but definitely this year and if I hadn't done this project I would have all three still full so really really pleased with this. <laughs> The other lip product that is in this project is my Colourpop Who Run This Lippy Stick. I've not actually brought this one down very much at all. I have started my 12 Pans of Christmas project pan and I have lipstick in that as well as having a lipstick in my main project pan so I think this month I just I was reaching for it like less than I have done any other month. This is now what's left of that so it's a really well used one thanks to this project and I do think at some point in the future I could definitely put this in another longer project and finish it. I really like the colour so again wasn't desperate to get it out of my collection or anything like that. I'm really pleased to think that I've made progress that I wouldn't have made had I not done this project because I put it in. And the 
last product that we still have to do for the finale is my By Terry powder, which I'm very pleased to say is completely empty. Absolutely thrilled with this. Powder is usually something that I move through a little quicker than I have done this year. I've definitely been rotating a bit more, um, so I wouldn't have probably actually finished this one if I hadn't put it specifically into this project. Very, very pleased that I have emptied it out. Everything that was actually still here between the last update and now so thank you very much for watching this project I hope you've enjoyed it as I said if you like project pan content do hit subscribe my 12 pans of Christmas will be coming at you every Sunday in December which is really not that far away quite terrifying and as I said next week will be the next update for my main 2022 project pan so do make sure you've hit the subscribe button for that if you like project pan content please don't forget to like the video it really helps me to know what people want to see. Thank you very much for watching this one and I will see you in my next video. Bye.